Oh boy, I saw this article in the news and I couldn't help but have to talk about it. They're putting it out in front of your face to see. Let's get into it on the Derek Coach Nation. Welcome to the revolution. What's up, everyone? Friends and family, thanks for joining me at the Derek Coche Show, the show that there isn't a producer, it's just me behind my keyboard and my stupidity. So if you don't mind sharing this with all your friends and family, and the only way we'll grow is through you. But I saw this article today, and I couldn't help but bring it up because it's... I, I'm speechless. Where are the old school liberals that hated Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, General Dynamics, places like that, and the big military machine of America? That's all we have money for. We don't have enough money for healthcare and all this. Blah, 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 blah. Where are you guys? Have you guys just all decided that you actually don't believe any of that and you're actually like uh, fascistic forces and you like pushing more money towards military and, uh, you know, controlling people? Because that's what it certainly seems like. So I saw this headline today. Zelensky to headline U.S. Defense Industry Conference. Oh, okay. Do I need to say anything more? Seriously, are we in a point where you're like, hmm, I don't get it. Can you tell me more? Because I'm kind of confused why he's headlining a U.S. Industry Conference. I thought he's, you know, fighting a huge war. Don't ask questions because that, is hate speech. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky will address the United States defense contractors later this month when he headlines, again, and he headlines the annual Future Force Cap Capabilities Conference and Exhibition hosted by the National Defense Industry Association. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Zelensky is scheduled to speak at the event September 21st. Amazing. According to the program, the event available by India's website. News of the appearance was first reported by Reuters, which noted that officials will speak via video link. Zelensky expected to appeal for more weapons for his country during his speech, and outlets added, Oh, it's not that we're funneling money through defense agencies so that we keep them going because we're not at war anymore because Biden's the most non-war president ever. He got us out of Afghanistan, remember? Incredible stuff. This is just a reminder that the U.S. has committed $15.2 billion in security assets assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of the Biden administration. $15.2 billion. <laughs> On Thursday, this Thursday, United States unveiled a $675 million weapons package to Ukraine, including additional high-mobility artillery rocket systems, additional high-speed radiation missiles, and more than 5,000 anti-armor systems among equipment. And this is all at the expense, and remember, during this time, the exact time, Jackson, Mississippi water source crisis may cost billion dollars to fix. Oh, so it's going to cost up to a billion dollars to fix people in Jackson, Mississippi, our own people in America's water. They don't have water. They don't have water. Places like this and Flint, Michigan and stuff like that. People are, you know, but who cares about that? Let's give another $15.2 billion to Ukraine. And then we'll push another Inflation Reduction Act bill. <laughs> this is, there's no correlation between the two. And I swear to God, if you ask me if there is, I'm going to lose my mind. Let's go through some of the comments on the Twitter section over this article, which I love. How to steal money from the taxpayers 101. <laughs> That's not your money. <laughs> uh, you don't pay the government. I know we like to pretend they don't give a crap. They don't see that money as our money. That's their money. And they'll do whatever they want. I'm sorry you don't have water right now. We have to give more money to Lockheed Martin. <laughs> They're supplying the war efforts. Uh, it's just... Oh, this picture right here is perfect. <laughs> if you're not paying attention, I don't know what to tell you. 
I wish we lived in this fairy tale land where the government didn't lie to us. The government was out for our best. And when they said things like we need to help these people, they actually meant it. Or it wasn't just to get their friends and people that support their own campaigns rich in the process. It's, well, it's, if it helps me, I'll help you. That's what it certainly seems like. I'm seeing more tweets and saying, like, if we can give $15 billion, then we can also give free health care to people. No. How about we don't do both? Because we can't afford it. We're in massive debt. Quit acting like children in the government. You need to balance your budget. But these people are never held accountable. Why? Because it's fake money. It's monopoly money. None of it matters. Hey, your business is failing? Don't worry. The government will bail you out, and now we have our hand in your checkbook and can tell you how to what to do. Just like GM. <laughs> we gotta bail you out. Now it's time to make electric vehicles only. And if you do otherwise, we gotta collect our debt, bro. <sighs> you know, people call you crazy for calling this kind of stuff out. They call you conspiracy theorists. They call you whatever, all these stupid terms because they have no idea how to deal with facts in front of their face. They rather just mock you and tell you that you're an idiot or you're a right-wing MAGA terrorist or some other crap. This is insane. We have people in our own America. We have roads that aren't need work. We have we have all kinds of infrastructure that actually needs to be done. These infrastructure plans are bullcrap, and we both know it. It's just a wink and a nod to their base saying, hey, look, I'm doing stuff. But the real money, the real money goes everywhere else doesn't go to help you. Look at our streets. Look at our inner cities. Look at any major city in America. We have open air drug use. We have homeless people. We have mentally ill people. And people don't feel safe anymore in their own streets. I was just thinking today, like, ah, oh man, Mexico is so dangerous. Are we so blind to not remember how dangerous we are in America. Some of the most dangerous cities in the world are here. Now. De run by Democrats, of course. They don't care about you. They don't care. The minute uh, people need to... If you think the government is here to help, I can't help you. If you think that if we just give the government more power, we need to give them more money, they're all of a sudden going to fix our problems. If you believe that, You've never been in a history class ever in your life. You've never read history. You weren't taught history. Or you're just so closed-minded, you don't want to have a conversation. Because if you look at history, governments aren't out for your best interest. They're out for their interest. And whatever furthers the gap of power between you and them, they will do it. That's why it's insane when people call, like clap gun reform crap and stuff like that. The one thing that keeps so many governments in check, they're like, get rid of it. If it saves one life, that's not, that same rhetoric, that same logical thought progression is used for every emergency order that eventually goes, is no longer for that emergency and goes to have more power for the government. Hashtag Patriot Act, as we remember 9-11. <sighs> I do not know what America is going to look like in 10 years, in 5 years. But if we do not come to grasp with how we treat money, this... United States is going to fail in a massive way. And I fear that day. We don't actually help American citizens who need help. And then when we have somebody that comes to come be a president and says things like, we need to make America great again. We call that racist. We shut it down. We castigate them. Corporate media has constant stuff. If you're not paying attention by now, if you're not realizing the correlation, you're not connecting the dots, I don't know what to tell you. Because the people that actually want to make change, they want to put you first, those are the people corporate media and other politicians hate the most. It's even on both sides, the right and the left. 
they hate those politicians the most. Why? Because those politicians have things like empathy in their brains, in their hearts. They're like, oh, I see my American people struggling. We need to do something about it. Where most politicians will just be like, eh, who cares? (sighs) Pay attention to your local politics. Get involved. Don't be afraid to vote for the other side if the candidate's just better. I'm at the point now, I don't care if there's an R, a D, or an L in front of a name. I just want to vote for somebody who is looking out for my best interests. I don't care. Wants, uh, Wants to allow me to be more free. Give the Libertarian Party a try. I don't care. Give the Republican Party a try. Hold the rhinos accountable. I don't care. But we need to have a reckoning, uh, a renaissance, like a new a new thought process when it comes to politics. Because it's more crazy than ever. And people are so divided than ever. People just call Republicans evil, Democrats evil. Instead of actually calling individuals evil or their principles evil or what their thoughts and processes are evil like it's just so insane and i care about you and i care about myself and i want the best for us and i want to live in a free america and i will vote for whoever is pushing for freedom period because i don't trust the government to solve my problems i barely trust the idea of voting for my freedom that I have to vote to my masters in order to be free. <laughs> like, it's just an, uh, it's just insane. But this idea that Zelensky's headlining a U.S. defense conference, and no one's picking up on that. Ah! He's such a good stand-up human being. <laughs> oh, we're in La La Land. Praise God. There he is, little little Zelensky. Have a great day, everyone. I'm going live on YouTube later today. Hope you come join me. Come hang out. Um, just remember, if you're a douchebag in my chat, I will block you. And because I, I just I don't have energy to deal with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, but tell your friends and family about the Derek O'Shea Show. If you want to support me, go to buymeacoffee.com/slash Derek O'Shea Show. Even a dollar helps uh, me get out of my mom's basement. You know. It, Cause it cost me, it cost me some money to put this on. I spent about like, you know, a couple hundred bucks, a eh, hundred bucks a month just to host my podcast and put it up on stuff and pay for things to run things and live stream and all that stuff. So if you are like, you know what? I like your show, please uh, throw a dollar. I don't care. 99 cents, 50 cents. It doesn't matter. Anything helps. It means a lot to me that you do. Uh, link is in the bio if you're interested. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. I freaking love every single one of you. It means a lot to me that you uh, chose me to listen to me over some other highly productionized podcast uh, because I'm going to give you my honest thoughts. I'm not going to, no one's saying, you know what, Derek, you can't say that. We have a sponsor, so, (laughs) God. Have a great day. I'll see you live tonight. Bye-bye.